Greetings and welcome to Smart Watch Ticks. And today we are going to look at how you can turn your smart watch into a hotspot. You heard me right. Imagine going out with a watch on your arm and your laptop computer or tablet and just firing up your watch, setting up a zone and surfing the internet right through your watch. It is doable, I'm doing it. This is uh, the, the ZGPAX S8. It now has a AT&T SIM card in it with its own private uh, special phone number that includes unlimited calling and texting and 3G internet connectivity. That's right, the S8 supports 3G, not the old 2G that most smart watch phones do, but the upgraded 3G network all in this tiny watch platform, all for about a hundred, hundred and a quarter dollars on the internet. It's amazing. So what are we looking at? We got the watch. We've had that before. It can work and do this all by itself as a watch, but I actually have it plugged in to a high capacity power supply so that I can make sure I've got the juice to do several hours worth of tethering if I want to, okay? This is optional, but when you put this package together of the watch and a power supply, you basically got the ability to do something that AT&T will sell you as a standalone hot spot little thing uh, that they charge $50 a month for you to turn it on as a hot spot. When you do this right under your AT&T contract, you can activate the watch for $10 a month. That includes your own separate phone number, texting, and all of this Wi-Fi connectivity, either directly from the watch to play your music, you know, straight into the watch while you're jogging, or hook it in as a hotspot for doing all these other good things that we're talking about today. So let's see how you do this. We're going to turn it on. I've already preset it into the settings area to walk you through. I go into wireless and networks. Make sure that Wi-Fi is turned off. Bluetooth doesn't matter. You could have it on or off. And you scroll down to the bottom where it says more. You with me so far? Oh, that's a neat program that we're going to talk about sometime. It uh, allows you to pop up all these different things and go into different apps. And I have it set to activate in the lower left-hand corner, which is why you saw it, because that's where I was touching. But I digress. We're going into settings. Uh, we are now looking at more uh, where we have airplane mode and all these things, including tethering and portable hotspot. We want to activate that one and see that I have actually turned on the Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, I went through and did some configuration on this to begin with. I have it set to keep the Wi-Fi hotspot on only for five minutes. If it's idle with whatever it's connected with, it'll turn it off automatically, saving power. Really important if you just have the watch on your arm and you're doing this tethering and you get called away for some reason, you don't want to be just draining your juice, radiating the Wi-Fi signal out to anything that, that's in, in the neighborhood. You want to turn it off. So you have a 5-minute, 10-minute, or you can leave it on always if you want. You can set the Wi-Fi hotspot up and give it a name and a password. Of course, that's the password that you'll use when you connect to it for the first time from your separate device. After that, once this is on and you fire up your computer, it should link just like it does to your uh, router, your modem at home or in the office. Okay, cancel out of that and other configurations that you've got. All sorts of uh, interesting stuff in here. Very sophisticated, actually, in how it works. So we have the Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. And it's with the actual Wi-Fi off. So the watch is not connected to the Internet directly to do things on the watch. But it's sitting here pumping as a Wi-Fi connection point for other devices, like my little Samsung tablet over here which if I whip that into the picture, you can see that it's set up uh, already connected on the Android AP. So I preset this and got it connected. And that means it's on Wi-Fi. And so whatever I want to do on here, I can do. And it will 
play music, it will surf the web, it will do it all. And it's literally doing it through the watch, okay? The watch is providing the Wi-Fi, not my home or office. It's literally from the watch. Now, if I'm only going to do it for a little while, I can just take the watch off of the battery supply, pop that on my arm, and go walking around with just the watch. It doesn't need that external power supply. It can do it all by itself, self-contained. I only had it plugged in to give extra juice, because when this thing's working as a Wi-Fi hotspot, it's going to drain the battery pretty quickly. Later on, down in the comments of this uh, YouTube video, I'll put some actual data values of how long I get running this as a Wi-Fi hotspot from 100% charge down to where it just dies. Uh, I'll give you that so you know if you can go out of the house how long you, you basically have before you need to charge it up. Another good reason why it would be so nice if you could just pop the back off of this, take out the battery and put in another one and just have two or three batteries in, uh, in your possession at all times. That's coming, but it isn't here now. So, once again, we're looking at a Wi-Fi hotspot and I wanted to show you what AT&T is doing right now to make this thing work so nicely from this kind of a platform. Here's the uh, specifics of what they've got in terms of gigabytes of shared data between like up to 10 devices. So if you've got one cell phone um, and that's it, you're probably doing like three gigabytes unless you're lucky and under the uh, unlimited plan. Um, if you have a couple, you might be doing the six gigabyte plan. Um, you might want to go to the 10 gigabyte plan if you're going to be adding the ability to do uh, this kind of Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity to your tablet or your computer. You know your range, and they can help you out with what you should be at. So you get a basic price, whatever that is. I'm going to just say 10 gigabytes because that's typical for a family with a couple of cell phones, both of them active and on the Internet, and this new capability that we're going to go into of uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. They tell you you can add phones under contract or bring your own or all that kind of stuff for this amount per month. And you see it down here now, they're getting Akamai wise uh, that there are connected wearables available that you can add as well. Now look at this, a connected wearable. Hello, that's what this is. Unlimited talk, unlimited text. That means this has a SIM card in it with its own special private phone number that I can use for calling in, calling out, and texting from. Unlimited. Plus shared data in the whatever data plan you want, say 10 gigabytes, adds on for only $10 a month. Now that combo I was talking about, if you buy that whole box thing from AT&T, is $50 a month for just a certain amount of gigabytes in hotspot capability. You've created your own hotspot here. Whether or not you decide to use this as a watch or just a hotspot, this is cheaper way to go than to try to, you know, just create your own standalone hotspot. If you need more, just up your overall gigabytes for a few bucks, okay? If you need less, then trim it down. But you're sitting with your one or two cell phones and your smartwatch. And that gives you the capability, as long as it's a Android standalone smartwatch phone that has the tethering and hotspot capability built into it, which you'll find out if you go into the settings. You can do it right from the phone, right from the watch, tethered to whatever you've got, a tablet, a computer, anything. All right? Enjoy. It's a whole new world, folks. 2015 and beyond is going to be amazing if you have the right kind of watch.